Welcome everyone. Thank you once again for being a part of this study. Um, we've seen how God gave victory to uh, the children of Israel through the leadership of Deborah. Uh, and today I want to focus on the fact that you know, she was a person who remembered. You know, she remembered um, what took place. She also remembered the people who were involved in, in uh, you know, the battle that just unfolded. Uh, she remembered how God rescued them. Uh, she remembered many things about the battle. So as you read her uh, song or poem in uh, Judges chapter 5, you will see a description of everything that um, had actually taken place. Now, uh, this is really a lesson for us. You know, in life, we um, go from season, a certain season to another season. Uh, and sometimes we could encounter the same challenge or a similar challenge in every season. In those uh, moments, we forget you know, how God had really come through for us you know, in the previous season. But if we are like Deborah, we make an effort to remember. Yes, you know, there was a time when uh, I went through sickness and the Lord healed me. Uh, and so I praise the Lord for it. But when I encounter uh, another problem or difficulty in my body, I remember if the Lord could do it then, you know, I know that He hasn't changed. You know, as scripture says, I, the Lord, I do not change. And also the fact that His covenant name reveals to us that He is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals us. Uh, and so based on what God has done in the past, no, I can walk in faith tomorrow. And that is why it is so important for us to remember. In other words, don't forget. You know, scripture also says, forget not all his benefits. Don't forget because he is the one who has blessed us. Sometimes we get these um, immeasurable blessings upon our lives. And at that time, we are so happy about it. Uh, and the next moment when something, hap something goes wrong, we forget how God you know, actually blessed us. But it's good to remember what God has done. No, rejoice. Maybe you just want to reminisce those blessings and those deliverances and say, God, thank you. You have done this in my life and I cannot forget what you have done for me. So remember, uh, you know, make a memorial if, if necessary of the good things that the Lord has done. And I want to read for us from Psalm 77 and verse 11. Uh, where the psalmist says, I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. No, our God is a God who performs wonders after wonders in our lives. And uh, uh, when we keep an account of all these wonders, you know, we end up having a grateful heart, a thankful heart. And like Deborah, I'm sure, Many of us, if asked to share our testimonies, you know, sometimes people sharing testimonies go into all the small details of what time it was and how the weather was because they remember, they remember how God came through for them uh, in, in those real, um, you know, real challenging circumstances. So just want to encourage us, remember the goodness of the Lord, remember the greatness of the Lord. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that, Lord, uh, you are our Father, Lord, who blesses us. God, we, we pray that, Lord, you will, you will help us, Lord, remember everything you have done for us, Lord. And we, we ask, let our hearts continually give um, glory to your name. Father, make us such people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.